one. Yeah. Um, Joe, you guys are, are facing a really dynamic wide receiver this week in Chris Rowland. How do you kind of contain everything that he does? He lines up all over the field, is a returner. So how do you kind of contain him? Yeah, like um, usually with spread teams, you're going to have one or two receivers that are guys that you're going to key in on big. So um, Coach Shaver is going to have a game plan for us. And uh, we're just going to he probably base it off of him, where he goes and what he, where he goes uh, throughout the plays and stuff. We talked last week about how you guys go against that Michigan wide receiver core. I think overall you held your own. I mean, how would you assess how you guys did on Saturday? I thought we did fine. I feel like, you know, we play receivers, you know, better or worse, you know, I mean, there's no difference. They had a good core, um, a lot of tall receivers. So um, I know this week we'll be facing a couple, you know, smaller guys, quicker. So, I mean, it's just about adjusting to who you're playing, and that's what we did. Um, as players, obviously, most of you guys weren't alive last time this rivalry was played. But how much do you play as players know about uh, the old OVC days against Tennessee State, and how much do you kind of take into this week? Yeah, I mean, I don't think a lot of people know as far as, um, you know, the rivalry besides of what's, you know, the students and stuff around here has made it to be. Um, you know, I've got text messages about it. So it's pretty it's pretty hyped up, a lot of animosity in the air. So, I mean, it should be a fun game, especially been our first home game. A lot of people should come out and uh, I think it's going to be a, a good week for us. <clears throat> Desmond gets his first start on Saturday. He had a lot of big moments, some ups and downs. I mean, how how do you think he played in his first defensive start for you guys? Man, I think I thought he did good. You know, this is his first year at corner, so I mean, from the start to see how far he's came, I mean, you you would be very proud of him. Anybody would, as well as Quincy Riley and uh, JB. A lot of them guys are the first time playing, so um, just to keep them calm out there. You know, me and Reed knew this was their first game. You know, looking at them every now and then, tell them to smile or, you know what I'm saying, throwing a little joke in between plays. Let them know, they don't, you know, it's, it's not as serious as you're making it seem, you know, just play football. So, I mean, we know um, this was the first game. Uh, I think it was big for them. It helped them a lot as we move forward. So, I mean, it's all good. What's that like? I mean, obviously you haven't switched from offense to a defense, especially this late in your career. But what's that like as a player to totally change over your mindset like that? And how much praise do you give him to be able to do that and now be a starter? Yeah, I mean, I, you could tell from his face. At first, it was it was tough because you know most offensive players. I mean, I think the last thing they want to do is come to defense and start you know hitting people and stuff like that. So, I mean, Coach Shaver, you know, you know, put it in his head that he could do it. You know, he's very fast, talented. So, I mean, he went with it, he carried on. We pushed him along. So, you know, you see where he's coming, and um, and we're going to see how far he goes at the end of the season. Do you know much about TSU? Uh, no, sir. Other than you know, we watched a little bit of film a couple of days ago. So. Not too much. How do you guard against a power, playing a Power Five conference team and then now playing the OVC? Last year, TSU took Vanderbilt into the fourth quarter and actually had the lead. Like I said, it all, it all um, always depends on the kind of receivers they have. Um, you know, um, Michigan had a lot of taller receivers, big body, you know, probably won't move as quick as some of the smaller guys. So it all depends on what kind of guys, you know, the, um, they're playing with. So. I mean, we'll just adjust around then. Coach Shaver have a game plan for us this week. You guys come out and set the tone against Michigan on Saturday, forcing that fumble on the first play of the game. I mean, how big was that going forward against a team like Michigan? I mean, it was big. You know, it put our offense in a good position to go score right after. You can tell that the, um, the guys were into it. You know, it was big just being the first play. Um, you couldn't really get, get a feel of the game because of how fast it happened. But, I mean, it was good moving forward, and it built a lot of guys' confidence going into the game. Thank you. Will, uh, first start for all of you guys along that offensive line, just kind of what was it like the first play getting in there I, after Joe just said you guys got a nice turnover. That must have been pretty nice for you. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty wild. You know, they were flying around fast. And it was just we all had to take it one play at a time and just do us and worry about us up front. And the rest is – we can just handle the rest. You guys had a plan almost like hockey line changes with the offensive line on Saturday. How 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 difficult is it to kind of keep your rhythm and momentum as an offensive lineman when you got new guys coming in like that? Is it any tougher than any other position on the offense? It, it is tough to keep your rhythm, but you just have to keep the right mindset, knowing because we knew coming in that we were gonna we were gonna do that. We knew we were gonna switch out and rotate and keep everybody fresh and give everyone reps that they deserved and we just had to keep the right mindset and just know that like if 
when they're done, we got to roll. And when we're done, they had to roll. And we just had to keep it going. Coach talked about not having any letdowns after week one. I mean, how do you guys do that going from playing in Michigan to playing Tennessee State, who's in the OVC? Oh, there's no difference, honestly. I don't, I don't see any difference at all. I, we're just looking to go one and this week and just keep fighting and have a good home opener this week. How did you feel like O'Hara did in his first start to, to begin the season? He was he was balling. I mean, I, he got us out of a bunch of stuff up front, you know. He had a few hiccups here and there, but everybody does. I mean, that's that's how it goes for the first game. I mean, we were playing Michigan, so it's going to happen. Like, the nerves are there. But he was he was doing what he can do, just like I said. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him, and I'm excited to see how everything goes. And I'm ready for whoever's next, whenever they're called, and just to get rolling. Coach says everybody on the offense gives 110%, but it, it literally seems like as a quarterback, he fights and claws for literally every single inch. Right, every, every play. I think that's what's great about him, and I think that's why he had a great game the other day. Um, you and Matt Martin played high school ball together, go different paths, mm -hmm. end up here together. Uh, how does that happen, and, and uh, does that give you guys a little something extra special, oh. bond between each other? Oh, 100%. There's no doubt about it. It's really special. I honestly, there's no, there's, there's really no words for it. I mean, it's just, we just, we just trusted the process and just, we took it one day at a time. And we, and when it, when the time came, I mean, we didn't pass up on this great opportunity playing for a guy like Coach Stock and coming here in a great community. And just, we, we just love it. We just love it here. And we're glad, glad we're here together. Uh, switching over to Tennessee State now, how, what do they do defensively that you guys have seen on film that you're going to have to key in on this week? I haven't watched too much, but a little bit that I've seen, they just play real hard, and then they're going to give us their best shot. I mean, they're going to come in here and play as hard. It's our first home game. You know, it's a close, closer team. So they're going to give us everything they got, and we're ready. We're going to give everything we got, and we're looking forward to it.